this one girl, I was in the thrift shop the other day, right? And um, this girl came up to me, she was super cool. She watched my videos and she asked for my number and I was like, oh, sorry, I got a girlfriend. But I think she was also underage. So I think it was actually like a trap because if I had given it to her, I think the cops would have just fucking like swarmed me. But yeah, no, Um, I was like, oh, sorry, I have a girlfriend. But yeah, dude, I think I would have been in jail, bro, jail. I mean, she might've been 18, but it's just, you never know these days, you know, you never know. If a girl asks for your number in public, bro, you ask, how old are you? You know what I'm saying? If she says 16, you just turn around and pretend like you were never talking to her to begin with, you know? And someone's like, hey, were you just talking to that 16 year old? Even though it's not your fault, she came up to you first. You say, nah, I've never seen that girl in my life. And then you fucking leave, bro. Don't get caught up, you know? Those are some tips right there. All right, so I'm going to Walmart now. Um, not really for any reason. You know, I just kind of like going to Walmart. Sometimes I'll just like go there, walk around for a while and leave. You know, I just, I don't know. I really fuck with Walmart. Um, yeah, so I'm going to Walmart. I'm gonna uh, vlog the whole uh, LA, Young LA trip. So I feel like that, that'll be something cool rather than me just taking random trips to Walmart. Um, dude, I'm gonna see if I can get Ronnie Coleman and them on video. I'm gonna just be weird. Like, I'm not gonna be like talking to them on video. I'm just gonna be like from a distance, like taking videos of them, you know? They're kind of like stalkerish, like um, shit like that, you know? All right, so I had this thought, right? Like, so you guys know that no one, no dude wants to date a girl with like a shit ton of bodies, right? Or a lot of people don't. Um, I guess that's like a, like for, I don't know, a lot of like younger dudes, like they're like, they don't want a girl with like any bodies they're like looking for virgins bro right so but at the same time you know as you get in college and as you get older right like you're trying to fuck bro you're trying to like oh i like everyone everyone wants to be the guy who like oh i fuck you know i i like i have a shit ton of sex you know um what if basically all girls came together and like didn't have sex with anyone until they were married right because they didn't like the whole oh a lot of bodies are like that so then guys could you could never fuck a girl unless you married her like they, it was just impossible um do you think guys would be more angry than they are now you know if they like i feel like there'd be so much pent up like everyone would be like fuck because everyone's like no nah, fuck these hoes but at the same time like when it comes to hooking up like dudes need that so then I don't know if you, you get what I'm trying to say. Like, would they would would dudes be like mad because uh, now like if you even wanted to ha like see a girl naked, you literally have to marry her. Like, there was no no other option. Like, it, they all just came together. That was the only fucking way. You know? Do you think that like guys would turn around and be like, all right, we fucked up. Like, I'm sorry. Like, please let us have sex. You know? Do you think do you think they would completely like switch up and be like, we fucked up. We were wrong. You know, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's curious because like dudes want to hook up and fuck bitches. They also want a girl with no bodies. So it's like, what like what if they all just it was all one or the other? You know, there was no middle ground. You know, so I don't know. Also, the thing with Greg Doucette, I don't know if you saw it. He made a video about uh Killjoy and Chris and the Trent twins, dude. Bro, I just miss the old Greg, man. Why is he always ever on everybody's dick now, bro? You know? He's just fucking... He's always shitting on people, it feels like. Every video I see, like, Sam Siliuk, um, the twins, uh, Killjoy. It just feels like he's shitting on everybody now, dude. I miss the old Greg, dude. He's just meat riding now. He's on everybody's dick now, you know? Oh, no. oh, look at that car. Damn, this shit's badass. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Someone asked would I ever do steroids. Um, no, because, like, I'm not a professional bodybuilder. Like, I would do it if I, like, for some reason, like, competed naturally and then, like, fucking did so good that, I don't know, like, I, uh, that I like showed some potential. But, I mean, other than that, like I just, I don't really feel a need to do steroids. Like I don't need to be that 
You know, I'm already, I'm already like, if I really want to get big, dude, I can get to 220, 230 pretty easily. I've been 235. Like, I don't, I'm not like 140 where I, I like need size like really bad. Like, do I, like, do I need to be 280? Like, fuck no. You know, I don't need to be that fucking big. Like, I kind of, like, would I like to be a little leaner? Like, if I did roids, I'd probably do some like cutting, cutting roids, you know? Um, but isn't that how Ziz died? Didn't he do the fucking shit in the sauna and he was on like that, uh, uh, someone said he was on like some like cutting steroid that like was originally purposed for horses with asthma and then he got in the sauna and died. I mean, I could be wrong, but like that shit cannot be good for you. You know, also I like my dick working, dude. I like fucking using my penis. So, you know, that's kind of a downside of steroids, you know, it's like your dick you know, and I don't want my balls to shrink. I mean, I, I know, like, hey, yeah, your dick it does look bigger in comparison. That whole Rich Piana thing. It's like it makes your dick look bigger when your balls are smaller. I get that. I get that. But, um, I, dude, it seems like a life commitment. Because, like, once you start doing it, you can't really stop. And it's like, damn, like, I got to commit my life to this shit, man. Like, to these, to these steroids. Like, like, why? You know? It's like, I'm, I'm blessed with pretty good genetics already you know it's like to the average average person you know i look good you know i don't need to be fucking chris bumstead ronnie coleman you know i mean and dude there's some natural dudes uh who look great buying this for my dad his other speaker broke i was waiting that line for fucking ever you know but usually when I see someone claim natty, I actually just believe them, you know, because I come from a place where I'm from a big football area. Like my high school when I was a senior was, uh, I think third best in the country. Um, I'm the division that we were in for sports is uh, one of the best ones uh, for a lot of, uh, one of the best ones for a lot of sports. like. I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, DeMatha, Gonzaga, like schools like that. Um, so anyway, I would see dudes who were like 16, right, coming out of Baltimore, squatting 515 in their teenage years for like 10. And these are like five-star football players. So it just goes to show like, what if the top athletes of other sports try to do bodybuilding? Like, I feel like the people with the best genetics are doing something else. Like a different sport. Cause you don't really grow up with bodybuilding. Like you grow up with like basketball, football. Because a lot of times like people say it's not healthy to lift weights too early. So these people who have great athletic genetics do other shit you know like what if uh dk metcalf was like a bodybuiler like what would he fucking look like dude doesn't even diet bro his his day in the eating was like a bag of skittles and like a burger and he looks fucking like uh i don't know if y'all remember uh sean oakman that dude who got that like false rape accusation like ruined his career that motherfucker was gigantic. You know, and they're not even eating like bodybuilders. I mean, maybe at the highest level they're eating really healthy. And nah, bro, that's just that ath athleticism. Who, who are some other athletes? I think, uh... I don't know, there's probably some fighters too. Fighters don't really have the bill usually. Well, some of them do. I would say like mostly football players, and then if you watch like a uh, Olympic track, those dudes are huge for no reason, and they're runners. So yeah, gymnasts are super fucking jacked. Gymnast biceps are like. Showing their back and biceps are always so unproportionately big to the rest of their body, but it kind of looks good, you know. I've always thought that unproportionately big shoulders is like the look that I've always wanted.
like the look I like is like gigantic shoulders, like okay buys and tries, huge chest, huge thick back, tiny waist. But like I don't I don't like arms too big, you know. I think you should like pretty big, but like shoulders, chest, back, and some some big ass quads. I feel like for me, buys and tries are like the least thing that I want to have. I think shoulders, shoulders pull your physique together. Shoulders are the glue. They're, they're just like the finishing polish on your, like, for some reason you just don't look as good with small shoulders, you know? And now I got, I got some average shoulders now, but back when I was depressed and shit, my fucking shoulders were crazy. If something horrible happens to me, y'all are going to see a villain era. I'm going to be fucking jacked, but, you know. I remember when, when I was in, like, first grade, I had a crush, right? And I bought her this necklace. It was $15 from a school bookstore, right? And at the time, $15 was a lot because I had to save up for it in coins. And so I finally saved up $15 to buy this girl's like little necklace that I like really had a crush on. And um, it was recess and I was really scared to give it to her, right? And I finally built, my friends are there like telling me, come on dude, don't be a pussy. Like, and I finally get the courage to do it. And she laughs and swats it out of my hand and runs away. And I was so, I was like in so much shock of embarrassment like I was frozen with embarrassment and then I tried to leave and pretend that like I ne that never happened I left it on the ground and it was gonna be like oh that shit ain't mine like I don't know what the fuck that is and this dude who saw the whole thing picked it up ran it back over to me and was like oh hey saw that here's here's this back and uh yeah that shit stuck with me bro I remember when I was in uh, eighth grade, we used to uh, ask our dates um, to eighth grade, like formals with like a poster and like flowers. It's kind of like what you do for prom, but we also did it for middle school, which is like kind of crazy. And I remember, so we used to make a human tunnel after the school every day. And then people, guys would kind of like take turns standing at the end of the human tunnel and the girl would walk up and either say yes or no. But everyone secretly wanted to, like the girl one of them to say no so we could all just go crazy and just like ah get on video you know all that shit it was really fucked up and i remember this one kid he had his his flowers his posters chocolates and he asked this girl and she and she was walking up she got halfway up the the human tunnel like the whole school is like on each side he's at the top she's walking up she just starts dying laughing is like and like walks up and then gets to him and she's like nah and everyone goes crazy bro everyone's like screaming filming dudes are like running around the fucking parking lot but like yeah and that kid was like fucking traumatized bro like that kid was fucked <laughs> it happened to a few other people too i mean one guy i remember he stood up in the middle of the class to like ask his dude like the teacher was fucking talking he stands up in the middle of class looks at this girl who has the desk next to him and I think her name was uh, Rachel. And he's like, Rachel, will you go to formals with me? And she's just like, no. And bro, and he didn't even do it at the end of class. So he was so embarrassed that he had to sit there. And the teacher like kind of awkwardly kept going. And then he had to sit there for the rest of the class, bro. Like, did you not think that through? Like, first off, horrible time to ask. Second off, why did you do it during the middle? Just in case she did say no, you have to sit there for the rest of the fucking class. I don't know, bro. It, dude, it, like, those times where, like, people just didn't think about shit. I remember I also saw this gay dude beat the brakes off this, like, country guy. It was this gay black dude and this, like, kind of country, like, uh, it was, like, this country, like, farming, like, you know, that kind of dude. And uh, I forget what happened, but they got in an argument in the locker room, and I'm, I'm literally right next to him. And then, dude, the gay black dude just starts beating the fuck out of this kid he starts like hammer fisting him from the side dude goes down he like grabs his head slams it on the fucking locker dude goes down he's like beating his ass on the ground like yeah we're all taking videos and shit 
like it's fucked up. But yeah, we were all taking videos. Then he starts stomping him. And then the teacher comes and dude, this is like middle school. And then the teacher comes, like pulls him off. You know, I live in like a farming area. Um, so like everything is just farm around here. <clears throat> but my school wasn't that bad. Like some of y'all got some crazy shit. Like I remember my roommate in my freshman year of college. He said, so this dude, there was like a, and this is kind of close to me. It's like 40 minutes away, but more towards the city. And he said there was a guy in his school. I guess he was doing like a gang initiation and he shot and murdered a couple in a park. And this dude's like a junior in high school and he murdered two people in a park and then just kept going to school for like another four days. No one knew. And then ran and everyone just, he was just interacting with everyone like normal and everyone just talking to him like normal. And then like four days later, like the FBI kept, comes in, fucking arrests him on the spot. And then he got tried for double murder. And, and yeah, he's in fucking prison now. So like we didn't have shit like that at my school. We, we had one kid go to jail for, uh, I mean, he didn't go to jail. He got like, um, well, we had the broomstick raping, uh, but we also, there was a dude who like got locked up for two days because he had like a whole lawyer case with like a girl because he was like, he was, she sent him nudes and he was like selling them, shit like that. All right, so I just got out of that 7-Eleven. I was buying a ginger ale, but this dude in the line was telling me and the cashier, Oh, he was telling me and the cashier that he bought, he just bought his girlfriend of two years a car. Dude, two years and you're buying her a car, bro? Two years is not long enough for a fucking car, buddy. I don't know, dude. And unless he's like rich as fuck or something, dude. And he's making the payments on it? Bro. I'd buy a girl a car if I was marrying her. Maybe. You know? Uh, see, my girl's gonna watch this shit and be like, what? Wait, you know, I need a car. Nah, she, she knows I don't have money and I could never... If I was rich, I'd buy her a car. But, uh... Yeah, no, dude, that two years? Come on now, buddy. Come on. My one-year anniversary is coming up. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go home, uh, probably make some music. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Damn. Maybe I'm the asshole, bro. Maybe it was me all along. Anyway, but um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go home, play some Minecraft, make some music. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a, I'm gonna try and be inspirational today on, on Instagram. I'm gonna try and make a post that like inspires people, bro. Cause like, I don't know, I, I, I think I'm lacking on the inspiring department, dude. Cause I'll see the trend twins have like these inspiring ass messages and shit. I'm like, dude, I need to get my, on my inspiring game, bro. I need to inspire a motherfucker. I think the things I inspire people to do are like, I don't know, bad, probably bad things, dude. Yikes. Anyway, but uh, I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you like this video. I'm gonna call it something, so maybe I'll make it a little clickbaity. Not really sure. Um, yeah, but uh, Logan.HRSMET on Instagram, and I got 100 TikToks accounts that all start with horse meat. Peace.